Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I have with me the Olympus 75 F1.8. This is one of the reasons why I'm staying with Micro Four Thirds system. I want to talk about that in this video. Let's do this. Previously, I've talked about why I love this Olympus 75 F1.8 so much. In this video, I'm going to share plenty of photographs from an actual shoot taken with this lens. And I'm going to share why this lens works so well as a telephoto lens being so compact and light, yet delivering fantastic professional looking images. Last weekend, I went to Malacca, that's about two hours drive outside of Kuala Lumpur, to shoot a music concert. It's a mini concert. And my friends Nadir and Bichu were performing there. Guess what? This lens was used 95% of the time capturing fantastic images from that particular show. And I want to talk about that in this video. This reminds me why I love this lens so much and this is the reason why I'm staying with Micro Four Thirds. When I quit being an Olympus visionary, I did consider jumping ship to full frame mirrorless. Obviously, there were only two options, Sony or Canon. Say if I go to Sony RF system, I can still stay with the smaller compact prime lenses, say the RF 16 f2.8, 50 f1.8, 85 f2 macro, I can still keep my camera and lenses relatively compact and light, and I can still deliver the images for my commercial shoots. No issue whatsoever. I get the benefits of full frame, right? Better resolution, higher dynamic range, and of course, much improved low light, high ISO shooting. However, things change when I started to consider the telephoto range of lenses. Obviously, I will need something like a 7200 for the longer reach. I'm shooting events, I'm shooting weddings, I'm shooting stage, sometimes I shoot music. I need that long reach, right? And 7200, whether it's from Canon or Sony, whether it's f4, f2.8, they were huge, heavy, and incredibly expensive. Then I look at this Olympus 75 f1.8. This is the reason why it's very difficult for me to switch systems, no matter how better, how much improved the resolution, dynamic range, or high ISO is in any of the full frame system. They just don't have anything that is similar to this Olympus 75 f1.8. In case you're wondering why I'm not so keen on getting the 7200 lens, either it's f4, f2.8, for Canon or Sony, that lens is relatively large and is heavy. I have a friend, she broke her wrist shooting the 7200 on a Canon full frame on a wedding job. Yes, she broke her wrist. I have other friends who have had back injuries after years and years of carrying heavy full frame gear, which includes the 7200. And I've had some friends who have slipped this, and because of that, they were unable to take photographs or do heavy photography. Again, they can't take like do all day wedding shoots anymore. I'm not getting any younger. I want to keep my photography sustainable. I want to keep shooting, right? And handling larger lenses, heavy lenses, is not really the right solution moving forward. And I'm so spoiled of something like this. 75 f1.8 is so small, it's so light. It's equivalent reach of 150 millimeters and it is f1.8.
If you have used this Olympus 75 f1.8 before, then you know how remarkable of a lens it is. It has an equivalent reach of 150 millimeters. For me, that's sufficient for all my telephoto needs, for my commercial shoots, if I were to do stage photography, music concert, wedding photography, or event photography, this lens is more than sufficient to replace the 7200. It's definitely more than enough to replace even the Olympus 40 to 150 f2.8 Pro. I'll get to that a little bit later. This lens is incredibly sharp. It is one of the sharpest lenses for micro four thirds system. It renders beautiful bokeh. The bokeh is creamy, buttery smooth. If you use this lens to take photographs of people, it just makes the people subject in your photograph, they just pop. There is that 3D rendering quality. The images look so realistic, so true to life. There's plenty of good contrast. It just looks so good. There's something special special about this Olympus 75 f 18s rendering and being so small and so compact. It is even smaller than a full frame equivalent 85 f 18 right? And it's definitely so much smaller than any 7200 equivalent. It is so much smaller than the Olympus 40 to 150 f 2.8 Pro. I don't even carry that lens anymore. I understand that 7200 or the Olympus 40 to 150 Pro, you can zoom, there is that versatility, that, that flexibility if you don't want to shoot at telephoto reach. But I have other lenses for that. I have the fantastic Olympus 45 f 1.8 and I shoot with prime lenses, mainly for the f1.8 bright open aperture. If you have f4, f2.8, maybe you need ISO 6400, 3200, but with this f1.8, I can get away with ISO 400 or ISO 800. My ISO 400, 800 on my micro four thirds will still look much better than ISO 3200 or 6400 on your full frame. And that's a fact. And don't forget, Olympus has the amazing 5 assist image stabilization. Last weekend, when I was shooting my friends Nadir and Bichu performing in Malacca, I was using this 75 f1.8 90 to 95 percent of the time. It was mounted on my Olympus EM1 Mark III. Of course, I switched in between 12 f2, 45 f1.8, and this 75 f1.8. I needed wide angle, obviously, to shoot the entire stage, group photographs, the crowd. But when I get close to the musician, the photographs that truly made an impact, the one that's most dramatic, capturing those moments of each musician on stage doing the thing, this 75 f1.8 is the lens that gets the job done. I also want to take this opportunity to share some tips on shooting stage photography. This applies to smaller scale music festivals, mini concerts where the stage is not too large and it's not like those super celebrity huge kind of concert, right? This is the kind of local music festival or local concerts that most people can have access to. The first tip is obvious. You have got to get close, as close as possible. It doesn't matter if you have a 300 millimeters lens. It doesn't matter if you have a 600 millimeters lens. Being physically closer makes a huge difference. And how do you get close to the stage? Well, sometimes you may need to ask for special permission from the show organizers. Sometimes you need to talk to the musicians. Just find a way to get access, to get as close as possible. Then you'll get a different kind of shots. Remember, if your shots are not good enough, if your photographs are not good enough, you are not close enough. That rule applies, especially for concert and stage photography. The next tip I can share is move. Do not stay at one spot. Move around, go to the side of the stage, go to the front, go to the back, go to different locations, and from these different shooting positions, you'll get a variety of shots. They will make a series of photographs a lot more dramatic. Then, focus on moments. Do not worry too much about technicalities, high ISO, shutter speed, whatever. 
Do not worry so much about that. More importantly, focus on that drama, that moment, that expression. Focus on the emotion that you want to convey through music. That decisive moment, that is more important. Pay attention to the musicians on stage, pay attention to the performance, and click at the right moment. Having said that about decisive moment, it also helps if you know the band, or at least you know their music. Do some homework, listen to the music before they play live. At least then you know what will happen at each moment, at which part of the music, where you have to move and position yourself, who is going to do what, or, if, or better these days on this internet age, right? We have YouTube, watch the past performance, see what happens on stage, study them and that will make you a better photographer, you're more prepared to capture those meaningful moments. When it comes to camera settings, I like to keep things as simple and straightforward as possible. I shoot with aperture priority mode. I keep the F number at F1.8 wide open because I want to gather as much light as possible. And this lens is already so sharp, wide open at F1.8, I don't have to stop down any further. I watch the shutter speed, make sure it's fast enough to freeze motion, and I will increase the ISO as necessary. 400, 800, 1600, I will go high without hesitation, what's a few grain of high as noise compared to a missed moment? The moment matters more. Get the moment, it is important to freeze the moment and get that shot instead of regretting later having that important moment blurred because your eyes is not fast enough. Everything else is quite straightforward. I use single autofocus. The autofocus on this lens is fast enough for me to quickly focus and grab the shot. I have very high hit rate, no issues. I shoot in RAW so that I can deal with the changing lights on stage later. That's one thing to worry less. And pretty much that's it. Remember, focus on the moment, pay attention, pay attention to what happens on the stage, grab that dramatic shot, grab that decisive moment. That's all I have to share about this Olympus 75 f1.8, why I love this lens so much, how well it works for my professional shoots, and I hope that you see how this lens made me stay with Micro Four Thirds. I believe this is a truly special lens, there is nothing like it from any other cams, it is so small, so light, I can move around freely without feeling any strain on any parts of my body, handling is perfect and I get superb image quality. I think this is something really special and I'm very proud to use this lens on the Micro Four Thirds cam. Do you have the Olympus 75 f1.8 yourself? Have you used one before? Do share your thoughts on this lens in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed watching this video, if you've enjoyed my photographs, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how I can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way, but definitely help me to continue making videos and publish them right here. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.